Hey, I'm Christopher, and this is the photo department. Obviously, this YouTube channel is focused on photography. See? I'm a photographer. Beautiful. My first love has always been coffee, 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 coffee. Uh, I've worked in the coffee industry for about 10 years um, in various roles, mostly as a barista and um, in lots of different cafes. I worked for Four Barrel in San Francisco. I worked for High Wire Coffee Roasters in Oakland. I worked for Mazarine, which is um, a cafe in downtown San Francisco. I drink a lot of coffee. like. A lot of coffee. Hopefully this gives you some context as to why every episode of the photo department has some sort of coffee element to it. Also, a lot of my photo work revolves around coffee. For instance, this is Rebellion Coffee that was roasted at the co-roaster facility in uh, Berkeley. I got this coffee when I was shooting a coffee woman event um, for Barista Magazine and this coffee was roasted by women in the co-roaster which is a women's owned and operated roasting facility so that's really awesome this coffee is actually incredibly good like some of the best coffee I've had recently I've also been working with Compelling Coffee out of LA. I've been helping them with their rebrand and doing their photography. Also, incredible coffee. Uh, this is the Ethiopian Sema. Oh, incredible. My favorite coffee roaster that hasn't been unseated yet. This has been my favorite coffee roaster for a couple years. Heart Roasters out of Portland. The first time I tried Heart, I was working at a small multi roaster in Oakland and uh, the stereo blend was the first coffee I tried. And at that point, the stereo blend was two different Guatemalans from two different farms. Um, this one is uh, an Ethiopian and a Guatemalan, also very good. But there was something about that coffee, it was a blend that I had never tasted before. I'd never had a coffee blend that was so cohesive. And Heart Stereo Blend is two different coffees. It's 50% of each, so it's half and half, um, hence the term stereo. Uh, but it changes seasonally and depending on what the offerings are. I haven't had that same experience with a coffee since, but all of Heart's coffee is incredible regardless. Um, I really like their single origins. The roaster takes really great care of the coffee when roasting and it shows in the quality of the coffee. Four Barrel is also a favorite. Um, my bandmate and good friend Ross is uh, head of production over there and so I always have Four Barrel coffee around. This is the Rwanda. Super good. Yeah, I also have a decent collection of coffee mugs. This is my current favorite ceramic coffee vessel. It's from Love House. L-U-V-H-A-U-S. Love House. I think they're based in Oakland, but I'm not sure. I should have checked this out before I start talking about it. Full disclosure, this is a, a Michelada. It's not coffee. It's a nice day. I already had like three cups of coffee. So there you go. I love coffee. I love working with coffee. I love photographing coffee. Most of the stuff I photograph these days is coffee or coffee related. Yeah, none of my videos thus far have been sponsored by or endorsed by any coffee roasters. I hope maybe in the future someone will want to be featured and then they'll send me coffee. It can happen. It can happen. So every episode I'm going to feature a different coffee roaster or a cafe that I like. Um, I've had the distinct honor and pleasure of being able to travel to a lot of different coffee shops and roasters in California and I will continue to do so. Next time I go to LA there is a coffee shop that I have just found that is incredible that 
I'm going to be doing a feature on. I'm going to go down there and film in the coffee shop. So that's really exciting. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and talking about my stuff on my videos. Thank you for liking my videos. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you for your cool emails. And your Instagram comments are very cool. I like that. As you've seen in the last video I posted, I have had the X-Pro2 for still not even a week. I've only had it for four days, but I've already shot three different photo shoots on it since I've gotten it. So I'm going to post some photos right now to show you what I've been shooting so far in the X-Pro2. And uh, I said in the first video that this is so far my favorite camera the best camera I've ever used and having used this on three or four professional jobs since picking this camera up I will have to say that that sentiment holds true still it's only been four days so give me a chance to hate it enjoy the pictures thank you and drink more coffee or micheladas <laughs>